Now, still talking about SEO, I want to talk about blogs. Now, if you listen to online marketing speakers, professional speakers that talk about online marketing, they'll tell you a blog is about engaging with your audience, building up a following. And there's some famous bloggers out there. There's Perez Hilton that blogs about Hollywood celebrities. There's Seth Godin who blogs about marketing. And sure, they do build up a following. People who come back to their blog to read what they've got to say about Hollywood stars, about marketing on a day-to-day basis. Now, with my hand on my heart, and I don't want you to feel sorry for me, but I'm going to share with you that David Caruso, who wrote a blog for his hire company since 2006, never built up a following, never built up uh, or engaged with an audience that came back to read his blog on a day-to-day basis. Because I can honestly say that nobody gives a stuff, nobody gives a care about what David Crusoe's got to say about his whippersnippers, about his lawnmowers. But that's okay because I didn't use a blog for engagement to build up a following. I use a blog purely for SEO purposes. And I want to show you what I mean by that. Now, here's just a a quick diagram of how my website was. So myhirecompany.com, and this is probably how your website looks per se as well. Now, on any given website, at any, any given time, my website was about 10 to 15 pages. Now, when we do SEO, we can only technically SEO each page for three to four keywords. So if I've got a page about backo hire, I've got keywords around that page uh, about backo rental, rent a backo, hire a backo, backo hire. You know what I'm trying to say. It's all about backo. So I'm not talking about chainsaws on that page. I'm not talking about uh, water carts or other different products. That page is about backo. So I can only really rank for three to four keywords per that page. And that's, that's keywords are relevant so they're just different variations of that backo hire, hire a backo, rent a backo, backo rental. Hopefully you're following what I mean. Now, if you had 15 pages on your website, technically speaking, we can only really SEO that website for about 60 keywords. Now, we can get over that hurdle by attaching a blog to our website. So I had a blog on my website, www.myhirecompany.com forward slash blog. And I would write a blog post about different items. Now, every time we write a blog post, we're actually creating another page on your website. Let me say this again. Every time we write a blog post on your blog, we're actually creating a new page on your website. So I would write a blog post about weed eater hire. I would write a blog post a couple of days later, maybe a week later, about whippersnipper hire, focusing on those particular keywords. So hire a whippersnipper, rent a whippersnipper, whippersnipper rental, hire a whippersnipper. I would write another blog post about rent a weed eater, perhaps. Maybe lawnmower hire, bobcat hire, hire a backo. Hopefully you know where I'm going with that. So at the time when I sold my business, I had 850 plus blog posts on my website. So principally I had another 850 website pages on my website targeting two to three different keywords per page. Now also I I don't call it a blog. You should never call your blog a blog. Your customers, nobody knows what a blog is. So we call it latest news or FAQs or uh, news or tips and advice, whatever that, whatever relates to your particular audience, whatever relates to your target market. So we use a blog for SEO purposes because I could write a blog post and actually get on page one of Google for a specific keyword phrase that I wasn't getting on page one of Google through my main website. So here's an example. And this is current. That's um, I talk about my business, sold that in 2010, and and I'm very uh, conscious of the fact that kind of what worked yesterday in online marketing sometimes doesn't work today and won't work tomorrow. So I want to give, I can tell you about principles, but I want to give you real world examples and current examples as well. So please feel free to check this on your website. Uh, Check this on your, not your website, check this on your computer after this presentation. Please don't leave this presentation now. But after your presentation, go to Google and type in Keynote Speaker Sydney. 
and see if my search results, see if my website has come up. And that's the davidcaruso.com.au. So this particular page here, looking for a dynamic keynote speaker, Sydney event, that's a blog post. So I've targeted the keyword. The keyword I wanted to target in this instance was obviously keynote speaker Sydney. So I wrote a blog post about that. And here I'm on page one of Google for 1.5 million results. That's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Now, every presentation, I give a free plug to my wife. Please go to her website and buy some silk scarves. She sells Thai silk scarves, get them delivered directly to your door, direct from Thailand. So we use the same principle and the same strategy for her scarf website. So here we wanted to target Silk Scarf Melbourne and um, only 136,000 results. But here we're on position three, looking for beautiful Silk Scarf Melbourne, order online today. Do it for customers, some of my uh, clients. So in this instance, this is a caterer. So somebody looking for a Parramatta caterer, there's 1.5 million results. And here we are, we're about position one, two, three, four, five, position five, not including the Google Maps in the Google Places area, but here catering Parramatta, we're targeting specific Parramatta caterer, caterer Parramatta. Hopefully that's making sense. That's just a blog post. So here's the bombshell. I've been effectively using this marketing strategy since 2006. So this is, if this is a new concept to you, geez, you better get up to speed fast. So we don't use blogging to engage with our audience, um, to build up a following. I use blogging purely for SEO purposes. And that's the example of doing so. So one last example, please, once again, go to your website and check. Go, why do I say keep saying go to your website? Go to your computer, go to Google and type in marketing speaker. You'll see there's 130 million results and there's one of my blog posts, a blog post that Renew actually wrote, Australia's leading business marketing speaker. So I'm in position one, two, three, four. And that's once, like I said, once again, just a blog post. Thank you.